And right now, almost 200,000 people are still without power statewide. Most of those outages are being reported in Lafouche Parish with 44,000 customers. Governor Edwards says restoring power to some people, especially in Lafouche and Terrebonne Parishes, will take time because parts of the power grid still need to be rebuilt. Well, since Hurricane Ida made landfall, the number of oil and chemical spills around southeast Louisiana has skyrocketed. According to the Coast Guard, the number now stands at more than 2,000. Monday, that number was around 200. Wildlife and fisheries agents are working to capture and clean more than 100 birds and other animals that were recently soaked in oil. So far, the agency has captured 10 birds so they can rehabilitate and clean them. Five birds were found dead and then bagged as evidence. The Small Business Administration and the Urban League of Louisiana are planning to host two disaster assistance informational sessions next week for people impacted by the storm. The sessions are Monday from 1030 until 1130 and then Wednesday the 15th from 6 until 7. According to the Urban League, the sessions will provide those seeking assistance with information on how to obtain FEMA and SBA help. In Acadiana, the sessions are open to those who live in Iberia, St. Martin, and St. Mary Parishes. The Louisiana Workforce Commission Mobile Center will be going to areas hardest hit by Ida. Workers will be in those places to help survivors apply for disaster unemployment benefits. The Mobile Center is a one-stop shop for people and businesses to get the help they need. Disaster benefits are typically available to anyone who's unable to work or unable to get to work because of a disaster. And just a reminder, if you or someone you know has been impacted by Ida, you have until Sunday to register with FEMA. That's the deadline for some disaster assistance programs. Ida survivors must inform the agency Sunday in 